Halle, halle, hallelujah. The Lord is high above the heaven and his glory above the nation. The Lord is high above the heaven and his glory above the nation. Give God the highest, highest hallelujah. Hallelujah. Halle, halle, hallelujah. Halle, halle, hallelujah. Halle, halle, hallelujah. The Lord is high above the heaven and the glory above the nation. The Lord is high above the heaven and the glory above the nation. Give him the highest, 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 highest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Halle, halle, hallelujah. Halle, halle, hallelujah. We magnify the name of the Lord on today. We glorify his name on today. O oh God, be lifted up. High and lifted up. High and lifted up is the name of the Lord. Our God is great and is greatly to be praised. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Come and magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt, exalt, exalt his name to give me. Uh, let us exalt his name together. Hallelujah. Help me lift Jesus. Help me lift Jesus. Help me lift Jesus up higher, 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 higher. He's a lion of Judah. Hallelujah. He is our risen king. He's the lion of Judah, creator of everything. He's holy, hallelujah. He's mighty, hallelujah. He's the lion of Judah. Good afternoon, good afternoon. This day, this is the Lord's day. We are rejoicing and we are glad in it. Matter of fact, we are exceedingly glad in it for the earth is the Lord's. The earth is the Lord's. The earth is the Lord's. The earth, we're made of earth. The earth is the Lord's. Hallelujah. The fullness thereof and they, all of us that live within. Hallelujah. Can't say it enough. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Great, great, great. We serve a great God. We serve a mighty God reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless your name. Father, we glorify your name. Father, there's none like you. Father, we're standing on your promises. Father, we come before you. Father, we need you. Father, help us today. Father, be our shield. Father, be our buckler. Father, be our everything. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless your name. Father, for we know that all things are working together for our good. Father, thank you for making good uh, on everything, uh, all promises to us and for us. God, you're good. You're good. You're good. You mean well. You do well. You are well. Greater is he that lives within us than he that lives within this world. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Let us exalt his name together. Well, let's exalt the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name, God. What a wonderful Savior. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Thank you, Jesus. We serve him in and through wisdom, power, and love because our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. And he reigns with heaven above. Hallelujah, Lord. What a mighty God we serve. What a great day this is to be in the land of the living here in Southern California. We're thankful and grateful for being able to feel the warmth of the sun on our faces. Thank you, Jesus and finding out that inside, amen, inside has been uh, brought to a state of immaculate. Oh, there's, there's things that are just in place, in place, in place. 
Hallelujah. And so we're thankful for the crew at Greater Harvest. We're thankful for the crew here at TBC. We're thankful that God has blessed us, amen, with relationships. We thank you that it's nothing that we've done in and of ourselves. It is because greater is he that lives within us than he that lives within the world. So my soul, my soul, my soul, hallelujah. My soul, hallelujah. My soul reaches out. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, bless it. It says, holy, holy, holy. It's either holiness or, yes, we could have fun, but praise God, it is holiness or, yes, holiness or hell in the name of Jesus. And oh, God, we don't want to go. We don't want to go down. We want to go up. Praise God. We want to go up. Let's go higher in Jesus. In Jesus' name. Oh, bless your name, God. Thank you, God. Oh, Savior. Savior, Savior, Savior. Savior, Savior, Savior. Oh, yes. Uh, Bishop Williams. Hallelujah. Bishop Williams out of Florida. Praise God. Hallelujah. We lift him up this morning. We lift him up before us this morning. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Honesty. Hallelujah. Majesty. Thank you, Jesus. Power. Hallelujah. And dominion. He reigns. Thank you, Jesus. He reigns. He is the who. Jesus Christ is the who. How, is, how this is done today? Just by giving God praise. How this is done today? Just by tapping in. How this is done today? Just by lifting our hands, lifting our voices to the hills with cometh our help. All of our help comes from the Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Glory fine. Well, last week, praise God, we had to uh, pause for a moment, but we're thankful and grateful. This studio is amazing. This studio is amazing. Please contact me for any studio needs. Hallelujah. We are equipped here to do it. We have our larger studio. We have our smaller studio. And then we have even a, uh, <clears throat> I guess you call it a sound room. That's right, a sound room. That's available. You can con con contact me, amen, chaplain.johnson at gmail.com. That is chaplain.johnson at gmail.com. So God is good and he's good all the time. Well, we are on the back end, on the healing process, amen, of, 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 of this nation. We're in a healing process of this nation. And we're going to give you some energy. We've got a lot of energy to give. But we just want to make sure that we give some, some, some significant time to the issues that are at hand. And yes, we serve a mighty, mighty God. I'm just looking at uh, seeing where we were going to, to operate from. And I think we'll operate from your, from your office. Thank you, Jesus. Operate from the office. Yes, God. Operate from that office that God has blessed you to walk in, to be in. Operate from that office. So I'm believing God with the spirit of expectation that he will know for sure. He will know. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Well, here we are. Blessing in the name of the Lord. Come on and praise the Lord with me. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord with me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord with me. Thank you. Praise the Lord with me. And we are right back here. Hallelujah. 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 Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. 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 We just want to move on in the Lord. Amen. Thanking God for Mr. Cantane and Kennedy Coffee. So excited about all the great things that God is doing. 
in the company, praise God, we will soon literally right underneath us, the floor right downstairs, we'll literally have a coffee shop, a Kennedy coffee shop. That's going to be simply amazing. We're going to have the very, very, very expensive, very, very, very expensive aquarium built, hallelujah, with with not so much expensive aquarium, but the expensive exotic fish that's gonna be in the aquarium. And people are be coming from everywhere to view these wonderful, wonderful creatures that were created by God. And in the comfort and the backdrop of the Kennedy Coffee Shop, amazing, 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 amazing. And as we are yet going down the lane of of production, hallelujah, and programs, amen. We are so grateful for, praise God, Sunray Energy Solutions. Sunray Energy Solutions, I'll give them a third shout out. Sunray Inner, hallelujah. <laughs> Sunray Energy Solutions, praise God. Thank God for the company. Thank God for Mr. Cantane. Thank God for uh, the Save Africa, not Save Africa's Children, but thank God for the Southeast Asia Children's Network and thank God for the Save Africa's Children Network. Oh, thank God for uh, Mr. Cantane, email uh, C-A-N-T-A-N-G 2015 at gmail.com and myself, chaplain.johnson at gmail.com. It's not, it's not, case sensitive i don't think but i i i if it is then shoot me a text right here let me know what's happening but i'm excited and i'm thanking god for the new companies that god is bringing forth in the name of jesus he's bringing forth new country he's bringing forth ceo and training co-founder hallelujah kennedy coffee and beverage the broad street networking channel at the TBC, the TBC BDX line. Don't want to forget that. Hallelujah. The disinfection chamber, the disinfected, disinfection chamber. Ah, it sits at the door of any institution, any organization, any agency. Hallelujah. But churches we're talking about right now, sits at the door. We open it up, unravel it. Praise God. And we begin to see the glory, the glory, the glory, the glory. So um, the disinfection chamber, D, I'm sorry, B, D, C, X, V, Victor, Dynamite. Oh, not one. Victor, <laughs> Dog, uh, Clearing, uh, X-Ray. Hallelujah. That'll work. That'll work right there. So we thank God for Mr. Cantane and his open heart. Thank God for Mr. Singh. And thank God for our crew around and around. And man, you can't see them, praise God, but they are hard at work making things happen, making things happen. So making things happen to the point that we are ready to go. Think we're ready to go? Nope. We got our Kennedy Coffee. We talked about Kennedy Coffee shop being downstairs where you'll be able to get all your Kennedy coffee, where you'll be able to get your Cordy X. And oh my goodness, in a week, in about a week's time, your friend's gonna ask you, what are you doing? What's happening? What's going on? And so that's when you began to let them know. So we lift our hands and bless the sanctuary for the Kennedy coffee, the espresso, amen, the cappuccino, praise God. They come in boxes of 25, which, which which pushes you out of less than uh, $20 per box. And the same on the other hand, on the other side. So we look forward to, to greeting you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Got that out of the way. Saints to the Most High God, I want you to know that things are going and moving in such a way, but it's not all bad. There's some good things that are happening out there. There are some good things that are happening out here. And uh, the individual knows there's possibility of, of something happen. When you know what you know that you know, then 
God can move in your life. Help me say God can move in my life. That's right. God can move in your, in my life if I allow him to. So I thank God for that. I truly will bless the name of the Lord in all times. I will bless the Lord at all times because he's good. Yes, he is. He's good. Let's get down to business today. Praise God. Is a scripture on my heart. Amen. And thus, I'll read it at some point. But I'm truly thankful and grateful. Amen. For our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is our plumb line, our measuring stick, our guide. He's all of that. I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for my, I'm thanking God for uh, how God has blessed David in his process. Blessed David in his process. Where David, amen, danced out of his clothes because he was in so, he was filled with so much joy and overwhelmed with the power of God. So the Lord is good. The Lord is good. Uh, my email chirped and it was the Facebook page. Of course, I don't have one, but it chirps whenever anything is going on out there. Maybe I shouldn't have said that, but it does. So I think and I praise God, uh, James Shepherd send this story in. He thought it was a shepherd that, that, that warranted a call on. Thank you, Lord. Warranted a call on. So, so, so years ago, thank you, years ago, a call on. This demands a call on. Now, remember some time ago we talked about technology and we talked about the information highway and we talked about, uh, we talked about the the uh, mm, the Netflix the Netflix show, Amen. The Netflix show, which spoke about technology, and we gave it as a homework assignment. And there's some of you who viewed it, and some of you who asked questions about it, and some of you are still breaking it open. So I thank God for that. Social dilemma on Netflix. Social dilemma on Netflix. So we thank God for the Kennedy Coffee. We thank God for the Cordiettes. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. You know, I was saying that all of the things that surround social media are not bad. Never wanting to and never will demonize anything that the Lord has made. Now, there's some issues for when it gets in the wrong hands. Something may happen contrarily, but then that's when we come in as law enforcement. Amen. Law enforcement. And I praise and I thank the Lord for Jesus because he's been right there. He's been right there by my side. So when we begin to look at the total, total, here's a little story. Here's a little story. And this story was presented by James Shepard. James Shepard. James said he was at the store. Matter of fact, he's at a TJ Maxx store and heard a loud crash and things were shattering. So uh, he said it was noisy and he walked over and saw some people whispering and looking back to the end of the aisle. And when I walked down the aisle, I saw that it was food, man, food embarrassment at its worth, financially, amen. Um, an elderly woman had been on a scooter and somehow knocked over a whole, took out a whole section. And she was sitting there embarrassed. There were people that were around her that were, <clears throat> instead of coming to aid her, praise God, they had their phones out doing what they do. And so this young man, someone, I think it's James, he went and knelt down beside her, praise God, and told her not to worry and started helping her to put things back that what was available. A few minutes later, the manager came by and the manager just said, just knelt down and said, don't worry, and stated, holy, everything is going to be all right. Hallelujah. Don't we need to know that? Everything is going to be all right. So about a minute of embarrassment. Um, so there was about a, lost my face. After about a minute 
of the store manager came and knelt down beside him and 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 leave it. We will clean this up. And no ma'am, we have we have insurance on this because the young lady wanted to pay for it. And so uh, the store owner said, nope, we have insurance for this. We're not going to pay for it. So you're walking down a very safe aisle right now. Said, I, I need to pray for all of us from a ministerial point of view. And I think and I praise God that they got together there and they began to pray amongst themselves. Wherever you are, choose your, wherever you are, close your eyes and begin praying, amen, doing God, doing the same way for you. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We glorify your name. We lift you up in the name of Jesus. Glory. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. This is awesome. So what happened? Store manager came by. Store manager was there, praise God. And the, and the senior citizen asked um, how much was it she was going to pay for it. Uh, but thank and praise God for insurance. So, and he went on and said, we will take care of us, of it. Just leave it all right there. Jesus loves us the same way. Jesus said, I'll clean up. The store manager said, we'll clean up after this. After you leave, we'll get all of this cleaned up. Ah, Jesus loves you. And when we come to him, amen. He wants to clean us up. Jesus still loves us more than we could even think or imagine. And I'm so thankful and grateful for the miracle that I've had opportunity to share in with, praise God, with uh, the Hill family, Orlando, and, uh, Shannon being home, praise God. And it is well right now. We have this testimony that it is well. Well, saints, here we are together, together, a lot going on in our nation, a lot going on in our country, but there's nothing that we need to panic about. We do not need to panic. Even though there are those who are without, we're still believing God that he would truly help us to, to do what's necessary. And if it's not necessarily, that God will respect our hearts, amen, as we move forward. We thank God for this Thanksgiving, amen. You can call in on our line on Sunday, on Thanksgiving morning, we will have one hour of prayer. We will have one hour of prayer. I'm going to get you this number, praise God. The one hour of prayer is at, hallelujah, got to find the number. The one hour of prayer, 760-258. Is that 258-760-258? Hallelujah. We'll see if we get it up on the stream. But anyway, we'll be one hour of prayer on Thanksgiving morning. Thanksgiving morning. If you went to the website, it's posted out there and you'll be able to see it. What a mighty God we serve. What an awesome God we serve. He serves with power and majesty. Our God reigns. Our God rules. Our God reigns. Well, we're getting down to that exciting portion. Praise God. Hallelujah. This light changes the temperature for everything. Hallelujah. In Luke 4 and 18, it says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Amen. Because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel of the poor. He hath saved me to, to who you redeem. Power in the books. Power in the books. Thank you, Jesus. There's power in the books, both life and death. And everything is in the book. So I will bless the Lord at all times because he's good. Out of that, Luke 4 and 18, proclaim good news to the poor. Make sure we're doing that. Proclaim freedom for the prisoners. Paul was a prisoner himself. And even in him being imprisoned, he know that wasn't going to be much he could do. So instead of going back, he went straight in, amen, and began to work and began to work. 
So we're thankful for that. We are so thankful for that. This day's word. So proclaim good news to the poor. Proclaim freedom to the prisoners. Recovery of sight for the blind, the sick, or afflicted. And set the oppressed free. Set the oppressed free. Got to set some freedom. Got to set some boundaries. Got to set, put some things in place. Amen. So that God can and will be glorified. Give glory to God, saints. Give glory to God. He's worthy of the praise, saints. Give glory to God. Well, here we go. Hallelujah. Second Timothy 1 and 7. Second Timothy 1 and 7 says, For God has not given me, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a soundness of mind. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. A soundness of mind. Thank you, Jesus. Fear is not a factor, but fear is the most, the most answer. Fear is a factor, but fear is not the answer. Thank you, Lord. Fear is a factor, but fear is not the answer. Uh, in 1858, that is in 1858, there was a senator slash governor by the name of James Hammond. James Hammond of South Carolina. And James Hammond argued, he argued that there must be and always have been a lower class, huh? Get that, a lower class or underclass for the upper class and the rest of society is to rest upon that. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. So, Mr. Hammond said some serious things. This was in 1858, and it's made it all the way to 20, um, 2020. So, Hammond felt that the freeing of the slaves as is a threat to the very foundation of America. Ah, uh, when... Uh, when Moores brought the, the, the light, the telephone, uh, technology, uh, the way we do things, greenhouse, uh, great, uh, all those things. It is impossible to say that by freeing of the slaves is a threat to the very foundation of America. Hammond said the fear the freeing of slaves would cause whites to do menial tasks, and thus the progress of the nation will be halted. Mm. These are things that are such da very dangerous, very dangerous, and they're not worth the freedom of slaves. Oh, help me, Jesus. Uh, let me break it like this. To do menial tasks, and thus is the progress of the nation. The progress of the nation will be halted if we continue to allow these African Americans, if we allow these African Americans to go free. That's basically, yes, if we allow them to go free. This is in 1858. 1858. So why am I talking about this? Well, because fear is a factor, but fear is not the answer. Uh, we will not operate out of fear of what's happening tomorrow because we have no tomorrow to practice. Hallelujah. So uh, these minimal, minimal tasks that needs to be done. So he encouraged his colleagues of the time that this fear became the center of racism and was passed from generation to generation. You see, from generation to generation, this uh, racism, this, this thread has been here in our nation. So from generation to generation of Americans, they had the opportunity to think, feel the same way. This fear has been and still is misinterpreted as a hate or dislike for a group of people, which could be far from the truth. So fear may force one to act in a hateful manner. Fear may make one grow disdain, pull back. However, 
These acts are only the result of fear. Fear cannot be overtaken. Hallelujah. Fear cannot be overtaken with love. It can only er be erased through education. Erased through education. Fear, uh, a little phrase they say, um, uh, false education appearing to be real. So when, when, so when one loves, so when one uses love to address a fear, it becomes a habit. If a child is afraid of the boogeyman, we've all heard this, the love you show the child will not erase those fears. It, will on, it only shows the, tr the child that fear is normal. So this is where we're going today. Fear is normal. But we have to do something with it, and we have to do something about it. You just can't leave it dormant, because then fear will take on a sense and an action of its own. So we're going to move forward. Um, the love, hallelujah, the love you, you know, the love you know, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When we love in the proper perspective, when we love, and allow God to move on our behalf, something happens. Something happens. Fear cannot be overtaken. After all, let us remember that fear is false education appearing to be real. Cannot say that enough. Hallelujah. The love you show the child will not erase those fears. The child, it says there's a boogeyman in the closet. The love we show that child will not erase the fears of that child. It will only show that the child, it will only show the child that fear is normal. And that's what we want to get, that fear is normal. It is not until the child understands the dark that those fears subside. In a sense, the Moors have become America's boogeyman. The Moors. Yes, we were called Moors up until 1920s. So the Moors, the Moors, hallelujah, the Moors, that's whom we are looking for. In a sense, in a sense, the Moors have become the boogeyman, yes. And it's not a question of our existence, but rather a question of are we the monsters that America is trying to portray and trying to create us to be. We have to take great responsibility for a lot of things that have gone on and will continue to go on, but prayerfully we'll be able to petition this off and, and break this down in a way where you definitely, definitely, definitely be able to see it. So let's look at, let's look at this today and let's look at it just a little bit more. Yes. Uh, 2 Timothy again says, mm, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but that of power and of love and of a sound mind. Hallelujah. Not a false education appearing real. God did not give us that. Amen. Our first point of realiza realization is that fear is real. Huh? That point that fear is real. As the sun is shining, praise God. Don't give up, don't give in, and definitely don't give out. Uh, Nelson Mandela, the Honorable Mr. Nelson Mandela, he said it this way. And how did he say it? He said, I learned that courage was not the absence of fear, but triumph over it. The brave man is not he who he who does not show afraid and he who is not afraid but he who conquers his fear hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus there was a training there's a training session that we had on saturday a brief training session i got able i was able to set in on it for a few minutes it was up to be a training session and i got able to sit in and something happened during that session, it kind of broke broke something on the inside of me again. Somebody say broken again, broken again. We've got to learn how to manage 
We've got to learn how to manage our emotions. For instance, anger, anger, anger is an emotion. Hallelujah. And we've learned, praise God, we've learned how in part on how to manage, hallelujah, and manage our emotions. Anger is an emotion, and we've learned how to manage that and still learning every day on how to do it and how to move forward. Doing something about the present condition. We want to do something about the present condition where we live, where we move, where we drink. We want to do something about it. You see, now there's positive response and then there's negative response when anger appears. Fear, on the other hand, is an emotion also. And with both of these, we have to choose how we're going to react and what and what the reaction is going to entail. What is it going to be? Hallelujah. Do something negative. Fear will cause us. Anger will cause us to motivate us into doing something negative. But there's always a choice. We can choose. We must remember that we can choose. We have a choice. So there's always a choice. Most of us are afraid, hallelujah, of fear. And that's why things are happening to us. <clears throat> most of us, most of our fears come from what we don't know. And we coin the phrase fear of the unknown. And some of that leads into fear because leads into eternal fear, internal fear, internal fear. And some of that leads into more fear because internal fears of someone finding out what you don't know. Hallelujah. You don't know. Hallelujah. Which results in the fear of the unknown. Let's take for a moment, the boogeyman in the closet. False education appearing real. There's no boogeyman in the closet. Hallelujah. When one Jesus, hallelujah, we one Jesus love, hallelujah, afraid of the boogeyman, hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Afraid of the boogeyman. The love you show, the child, will not erase those fears. It won't. It will only show the child that fear is normal. I say it again. It is not until the child understands the dark and uh, that those fears go away, that those fears go away. We're thankful and grateful. We're moving at this pace because we don't want to leave out anything. We want to give you something complete. Not that the other days it wasn't complete. Today, I want to just encourage you to embrace your fears. Why would I say that? Because it's real. Just as the stove is hot, it's real. Just as uh, dying of thirst, as we say that you're thirsty. Hallelujah. So let us, hallelujah, like what we see. How do we do that? Thank you, Jesus. We can begin to show light on the tunnel. Light anything else. Fear can be managed. So let's look at how we can manage this false education appearing real. The circumstances surrounding me are real. The circumstances surrounding you are real. Almost, also, this is really happening to me. Yes, this is really happening to me. This is really happening to us. Day-to-day -day circumstances, they come and something is happening to us on a daily basis. And yes, it's really happening to you also. It's happening to me also. Just because it's not in me, my house, that don't mean that it's not happening. Many of us are responsible for our families by taking responsibility of ourselves and our fear. Hallelujah. Our fear is to allow someone else to see that we're taking responsibility forward will drop in a negative, uh, in a negative perspective for us. But I do want to let you know, and I do want to remind you that many of us are responsible for many kinds of Hallelujah. For many, many of us are responsible for our families by taking time. Amen. Taking time, and being responsible of ourselves and our fear to see. Uh-huh. A fear to see. But actually, hope 
is being able to see that there is a light, that there is light, hallelujah, that there is light despite all of the darkness. Uh, I haven't counted myself, but it said that fear not appears in the Bible 365 times. Well, I don't believe that. I'll have to go and research it. Uh, but times thinks God that times, 365 times. That's a good thing if it was true, but it's not accurate. It is not accurate that that phrase is in the Bible. Fear not is not in the Bible 365 times. That's not accurate. Actually speaking, there's not a version in the Bible or of the Bible that 365 times that quote unquote fear not is there. Uh, for instance, the King James Version says, uh, fear not or be not afraid is in there 103 times. Hallelujah. Not 365 times. But if it was in there 365 times, we would have a fear not that we could pick up every day. A fear not we could pick up and move every day. So we're excited. Amen. For God. The Bible teaches. The Bible preaches. The Bible beseeches us not to be afraid. The Bible teaches, preaches, preach, and we beseech you not to be afraid. What does the word beseech mean? It means to ask. It means to entreat. It means to plead. It means to press. It means to demand that you should not be afraid, but believe in Christ. Fear is real. Fear is real. False education appearing to be real. When fear does not appear, amen, fear is a cause to pause. When fear appears, fear is a opportunity to pause, just to stop. Just to stop doing what you're doing. Hallelujah. False education appearing real. When fear does appear, fear, fear, uh, fear is a cause to pause, an invitation to stop, an invitation to seek, an invitation to stop and seek God for a way, amen, a way to move forward. Because fear has us paralyzed in a spot, in a position. And we got to develop our hinds feet. We got to take a leap of faith out of that fear factor. Hallelujah. And allow God to move us towards some things. You see, when, the, when, the, when, when God says, uh, fear not, hallelujah, when he says fear not, that's a pivotal point. It's a point for something to turn, where people in the Bible have paused to ask God for a direction. People in the Bible have paused and, and, and asked God for some courage. People in the Bible have paused and asked God to, to move on. And, and, and go on, amen, not through prayer. And so Paul, at the, at, at the red seat, amen, it was Paul, and it was a pause, hallelujah. Those in the Bible, those in the Bible were talking big, they were taking big risks. They were taking big risks, amen. They were facing their giants, praise God. They were going into battle. Hallelujah. They were doing and saying unpopular things. Praise God. It came at a, at a, at a cost. Traveling into uncharted territory came as a choice. Being, being persecuted for their faith. They had no choice in that. The fear masks, the fear masks the fear masks is there. Amen. This fear makes up or makes us as children go to God to stop. Amen. Before the Lord, before we press on, huh, is this really what you want to do? Amen. And the Lord says to us at least 103 times in the Bible. Yes, it is. And even better, fear not for I am with you. Fear is not something to be. 
It's not something to be ashamed of. Fear is not something to be ignored. Fear is not something to be condemned. Fear is a healthy emotion, an emotion created by God. When we are scared, we slow down. We become cautious and we pay attention. Thank you, Jesus. It's the perfect time to pray. Hallelujah. It's the perfect time to pray and go before the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It's time to slow down. Yes, Lord. It's time to be conscious. Yes, Lord. It's time to pay attention. Yes, Lord. It's time to pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's high time. It's high time. Fear, hallelujah, is a factor, but fear is not the answer. Hallelujah. Fear not, for I am with you. Fear not, for I am with you. Fear not, for I am with you. It's the perfect time in the midst of that fear to ask something. Lord, is this thought true? Lord, is this thought loving? Lord, is it helping me or hurting me? Is it saving my skin or is it stopping me from stepping into my very best self? God, is this you or is this my human nature or is this the enemy? Saints of the Most High God, the enemy wants to do this perverted, whacked up job on anything that he can. God means for our good. So fear is something that Satan uses and life becomes distorted, life becomes disrupted, and life becomes destructive. Hallelujah. Distorted, disrupted, and destructive. Amen. And he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Fear, fear is the tool that Satan has as his tools. Yes, he comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but only if we give in to fear as a factor. But don't let that fear become the answer for your trials on a daily day basis. United States of America, here in this space, in this place, I just want to say, we as African-American men, we're not bullies, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're not bullies. No, we're not. We're just looking to the hills when it cometh our help. Saints of the Most High God, United States of America, in this space and in this time of death walking the face of the earth as the coronavirus now numbers mount over 200,000 dead possibly. But then we got to remember there's high blood pressure, there's diabetes, there's all these other things that are out there, but 200,000 possibly have met their end because of the virus. So we read again, 2 Timothy 1, 7, for God has not given me, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. False education appearing real. Timothy was experiencing great opposition to his message and to himself as a leader. Uh, Timothy was experiencing some opposition to himself uh, because of his youth. Timothy was experiencing some opposition, hallelujah, because his association with Paul. And he was experiencing some opposition because his leadership had come under scrutiny, amen, because he was, uh, because he was with Paul. His leadership uh, it, it was, was being questioned by believers and non-believers also. Paul urged him to be bold. I'm urging you to be bold in whatever's going on in your life. When we allow people to intimidate us, we neutralize our effectiveness for God. Uh, the power of the Holy Spirit can help us to overcome everything. The power of the Holy Spirit can help us to overcome everything. My apologies. I didn't even have my mic on. The power of the Holy Spirit can help us to overcome everything in our life, especially the fear factor. Huh? 
overcome the fear of what someone might say or do. Amen to us. Huh? God continues to do a good work. Paul mentions it. There's three characteristics, hallelujah, of the effective uh, man, woman, boy, a girl following Christ. Amen. Those three characteristics is power, love, and a sound mind. Power, love, and a sound mind. These are available to us because the Holy Ghost lives in us. Amen. As a result of the Holy Spirit living in us, we find ourselves being able to demonstrate, being able to walk in, walk in the spirit of love, walk in the spirit of joy, walk in the spirit of peace, walk in the spirit of long suffering, walk in the spirit of gentleness, walk in the spirit of goodness, walk in the spirit of faith, walk in the spirit of meekness, walk in the spirit with temperament, walk in the spirit, hallelujah, that the fruit of the spirit from Galatians 5, 22 and 23 is operating in us and it will pull us out of that being about being in a state of fear. And we go on. Paul goes on a little further and he says it like this. Be not thou, be thou. Huh. Therefore, don't be ashamed of the gospel. Don't be ashamed of the gospel. Don't be ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor be. Uh, why? He said, because he, I, me. As a prisoner, be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God. Hallelujah. Why should we be afraid? Verse 9 goes on to say, uh, Who has saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to its own purpose and grace? which is given us in Christ Jesus, even before the world began. So before the world began, God had given us power. God had given us purpose. God has given us grace. It was set up before us in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Remember that story in the beginning where the accident took place in the store and the senior citizen was so embarrassed because of what was taking place. But the owner of the store, not the owner, but the manager of the store, the manager of the store came out and said, don't worry about it. We have insurance. Our insurance will cover this. You don't have to pay for it. The insurance that we have is in Christ Jesus. Because you see, Jesus Christ's blood paid it all. It's paid in full. But we have to walk right, talk right, live right, walk up right before the Lord. Hallelujah. So that God can continue to bless us. God can continue to work in us. God can continue to help us. God goes before us to make the crooked places straight. Hallelujah. We thank God for help on today. Jesus Christ is our help. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Fear, hallelujah, is a factor, but fear is not the answer. Fear is a factor, but fear is not the answer. Why would we just fear man who can only destroy our bodies and not fear God who can destroy both body and soul? O oh, saints of the most high God, take a chance. Scripture says, O oh, taste and see that the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, he is good. Uh, in 1865, uh, there was that rain, that vein, that seed that was planted, that you should always have a superior and an inferior. But greater is he that lives within us than he that lives within this world. So we're thankful and grateful that we serve a God that's more than enough, more than enough. We're thankful and grateful that we serve a God that, that, that sits high and looks low. He's high enough to see us 
Amen. Ah, low enough to reach us. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus Christ suspended himself. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Walk. He didn't suspend himself. He walked the face of this earth. But he's coming back again. Yes, he is. We need your faith. We need your help. We need your help. Because Jesus is real. And he's coming back for some real people. Thank you. So we have to get our house in order. Because time is winding up. Time is winding up. Time is winding up. So we thank and we praise God for this time. We thank and praise God for Mr. Cantane. We thankful, we're thankful and we praise God for kissing me, K-I-S-I-M-E dot com. Thank God for the website. Thank God for the Kennedy Coffee. Thank God for the cappuccino. Thank God for the double espresso. We thank God for the Cordy X. We thank God for this wonderful, be beautiful, amazing sanctuary. We thank God for Mr. Singh. We thank God for Samuel. We thank God for all who are part of you, Amic. We just truly thank and beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the tender mercies of God, that you present yourself a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. And we will walk, hallelujah, talk and be what God has called us to be. Thank you, Jesus, for another day's journey. Thank you, Jesus, for another day home. Hallelujah. Ain't got long to be here. So we bless your name in Jesus name. Thank God and amen. God bless you, greater harvest. God bless you, body of Christ. God bless you, men and women of God. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We're, we're truly thankful and grateful again to the Sun Ray Energy Solutions. Sun Ray Energy Solutions. Praise God. Uh, being able to produce enough power. Oh, I would say to, to, to power, um, a city, praise God. And each and every individual single home is a city within itself. So we're thankful and grateful. And next week, we're going to have a little more hallelujah space so we can walk around. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you and have a wonderful, extraordinary, mighty day. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.